Reaper in the seedings. And, they, and one's beat the other one before. All right, guys, well, we're going into it here now. Once again, Kangarils will be on the blue side this time. And the Lamp Lighters are going to be jumping over onto the Arch team. We've already had the Joust go in, and ooh, that was almost a bounce to go right in the goal. That would have been a nice little cheeky one. The guys on the Lamp Lighters to be able to steal away. But Leopoldon actually having some trouble getting over to that disc. It means the Kangarils are going to beat him there first. Ah, misses a chance at it again, and it's going to get sent further downfield as a result of that. That's something I notice about Leo is that when his team isn't where he expects them, he also forgets how to play for a little bit. But they get it in, though, in the end. Yeah, we can see Noob Fodder trying to launch back there to try and stop it. He almost got there in time. I think he was just a couple inches short. And as a result of that, well, the Kangaroos are going to start it off very dominantly with a three-pointer right off the bat. See little bag, team captain, actually uh, driving it home right there. Let him know. It's like, hey, I've come to play. If you've not come to play, you might as well go home. Second volley, and it's going to be the Lamplighters this time to start off with extra possession over on their side of the arena. And you see Noob there going inverted as the North American teams think that you always need an inverted player on your team. So much for subtlety will be the quarterback this time. Passes it over to Noob Fodder. He's got it. He's going to delay, though, because it looks like Kangarillas have adopted a strategy that we saw from Jackson the last game, too. They've got this two man fighting force that moves up the field. Sadly, though, they got right past them. So at the moment, Leopoldon's going in with a teammate to his system, and he only really has to deal with the goalie, but that's going to change now. Lovridge has moved in, and wow, was, sadly, the pass just didn't really work out the way that Lamplighters had planned it at all. It took Noob Fodder so much time to get back possession that Kangarillas had set up and was immediately able to destabilize that possession. Yep, they're going to fight it out here, though. The scrum doesn't pay off, and it ends up with a nice clear, but still cleared down to one of those corners. So that I said before, you might as well just camp out in one of those bottom corners, because that's where the disc ends up more often than it doesn't. Again, the action moving in. The Kangarillas trying to send things further downfield. The Lamplighters will pick it up once again, sending it right back into Kangarillas' territory here. Kangarillas should, in theory, be able to deal with this, though. Why are there other two players? They're getting launched back in. Are they going to get here in time? Yep, they get right into the way of it. Nope, the oh, goalie getting punched out. Oh, but a bad out. shot. Yeah, sadly, the goal itself does not end up happening. Leopoldon going to pick back up the disc again. Ready to toss it over to a teammate here, get it a little bit closer. But now they're going to deal with all three players for the Kangarillas, so this is not going to be an easy task to score this goal anymore. Yeah, after watching the really highly fast and technical play from the Jacks, over here you're just saying, hey, this is a completely style of play because you're seeing two North American teams go at it here. And the North Americans and European teams do play completely different because uh, they usually play within their continent. Oh, and there you go. Out of nowhere, it seems like the Lamplighters slamming a two-pointer, get it right close up, a quick pass coming in for them, and they are able to take control of their first goal here too. That right there is a really great layup play. Noob was actually in the position that he needed to be in and it actually reacted, grabbed it, tossed it down the goal. That was a problem they were having earlier is that Noob was usually not in position in the past would miss. We saw it happen uh, repeatedly at the games before we streamed. And I was watching that match and I was like, Noob, no, you're always there. What happened? But now he's, uh, he's got his mind back in the game. It's a very close game to start off. We've got three minutes left, so I think we're actually going to get ourselves one hell of a match. And so Loveridge picks it up first, ready to toss it off to another teammate, but he is obviously going to have to be careful here. The Lamplighter's got aggressive on him. Looks like he clears it back out. Over here to Grumpy is Broom. He's going to take control over here for the Kangarillas now. As they take it back, try to send it further up into the territory of the Lamplighters, but the Lamplighters all around causing plenty of problems here for Kangarillas, so it's not going to be such an easy job. But okay, the Kangarillas working together, and we can see Steelable Bag trying to swoop away, open up an opportunity for him to pass it back over to Grumpiest Broom, moving in. Wait for position. The goalie, yep, the goalie's still sitting well into the goal. He's going to swoop around, the goalie stops <laughs> and punches the goalie out just a second too late. However, he's already cleared it and has reset the position. Subtlety's a great goalie. Both Subtlety and Grumpiest Broom, they have both, I think, fairly evenly matched goalies on either side here, so it's going to be very difficult to do something like that. You're going to want to send in a guy to knock out the goalie, do a backboard shot. I know both of them are kind of weak against backboard shots, but uh, you're not going to have a lot of options if you don't pull them out of the goal. The opponent on still Woo, Look at that cool. shot. Just barely tosses that back over to so much for subtlety. Out well. of a cannon, all of them get on the other side of the field with no trouble. Defense is set up very quickly for the Kangarillas, however. Let's see if they can stop Ooh, it. Yes, that stop! Grumpy as Broom grabs it directly out of the air. He's going to be able to maintain control. It's a great clear, too. Sends it basically all the way to the other side of the map. And I love watching a good goalie like that when they just stop it dead in its tracks. They're like, I am a wall. <laughs> That's why a lot of people try to go for backboard shots these days, because they're a lot harder to predict. Bag, just trying to look for an opportunity to sneak this in, but it's just a full three-man formation for the Lamplighters. So, Sealable Bag's going to do a little maneuver, gets this over to Grumpiest, Ooh. over to Lovebridge, but again, blocked by the respective goalie for the Lamplighters. They'll be able to knock it away. Keep so much for subtlety doing his job, but now he is out of position. If they retain control, he's got to back up, and he's going to do so. Lovebridge, tossing it back down again. 
Still being kept very much on the Lamplighter's side of this fight right now. They have not been able to clear it to the possession for the most part. Well, it may look even, it's definitely favored for the Kangaroos, especially with us now under one minute left Ooh, in it. the round. Leo with the clear. Not a, not, a, not a good clear, but good enough if he's able to retain possession of it. Noob Fodder kicks it up and for the three. Just, yeah, that was supposed to say, that's just an open goal right there for them. So they're going to walk that right in, and all of a sudden, the Lamplighters get themselves a pretty massive advantage here. Moving up, now up by three points over the Kangarillas, and they only have 48 seconds to respond with a goal of their own. Yeah, they might actually take this first round. Lamplighters looking good. Voting on the cool guy seems like it might work out for me this time. <laughs> we'll see, of course. It's only round one. Still have to play out the full best of three to see who gets to stay alive, fight a little bit later on, and who sadly will have to end their journey a little bit early here. So launches out, but once again, Kangaroos will take that free possession. They were just scored against by the Lamplighters, and actually their quarterback's gonna move very far upfield before passing it. Ends up going over to Grumpiest Broom, so much for subtlety. Now back at the goal post here, gonna try to do it. Grumpiest Broom going for a bounce off the back to give it to a teammate, and it will go in. Sealable bag scores the two-pointer, and we're tied now at five to five. Yes, nice move, distract the goalie, try to come out from behind. If he's too busy focused on you, he doesn't realize one of your teammates has come up from behind him and is ready to dunk it in. It's a very solid move. Yeah, I also tell people to do that whenever you're dealing with a juking player. It's very hard for action to beat reaction. Uh, I mean, for a reaction to be action. So whenever you're dealing with a juker, what you do is you lock eyes with him. He's watching you, waiting for you to jump forward so that he can then figure out which way he's got to juke. And instead, in that situation, what you end up doing is you uh, have one of your teammates come up from behind him and take it because he's too busy focusing on you. So the launch goes out. Quickly, we see the Lamplighters moving their players forward here to try and get aggressive, try to look for an opportunity to score a goal if they can get it. And oh, oh. my goodness, Liponidon actually sinks it. Beautifully done, a straight 1v1 versus the goalie here for Kangorillas. And he manages to score another two-pointer, which is going to give Lamplighters the lead. And again, Kangorillas right back up against the ropes. They've only got 20 seconds to try and score a corresponding one. Grumpy is not going to be happy about that. That was one shot that he probably could have actually blocked under normal circumstances, but... I guess he's just running a little cold, I'm not sure. Maybe he just wasn't ready for it to come that fast. Maybe he was looking the wrong direction. There's all kinds of reasons, but at the very least, it was only a two-pointer, so he's at least doing his job. So the launch out. Kangorillas looking for any capability to score a goal here. That's more than likely going to toss this back over to Grumpy. Does it complete itself? No, it looks like it gets bounced back at some point there. But Loveridge will be able to pick it up, retrieve control. And now it goes back to the middle. And sadly, with time pretty much run out, that does mean that Kangaroos will not be able to fight their way back in for this round anyway. And the Lamplighters will take control of the first round, meaning they go up 1-0. Only one more needed to move forward here and knock out the Kangaroos. Well played by both teams.